Researchers from around the world are meeting today here in Houston to discuss treating obsessive compulsive disorder with a brain surgery called deep brain stimulation. The surgery has been used many times before for neurological tremors in cases similar to Parkinson's. Local doctors have been seeing success treating the mood disorder, which is promising for patients who aren't successful with other treatments. Health reporter Haley Hernandez explains more. This morning, I met with a psychiatrist leading this research and a patient who says it changed her life. Two years ago, Katie Whitson says she never would have done something like this. Being in public, touching surfaces she didn't disinfect. It was unheard of because of her debilitating OCD, which hit rock bottom in her 20s. I was unrecognizable to myself, to my family, to my friends. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, it just really took over every aspect of my life. But a brain operation called deep brain stimulation, mostly used to treat tremors commonly associated with Parkinson's, was used on Katie and others like her in a research study. Doctors place electrodes in the brain and can program and adjust them from outside of the body. In the same way that I might adjust the dosage of a medication, I adjust, adjust, I adjust the dose of the stimulation. Dr. Wayne Greenwood is now teaching others about his findings on how DBS can work to treat treatment resistant OCD. DBS uh, can produce improvement in about two thirds of patients and, and it can work very rapidly. So it, it does, obviously it's not a cure for everybody. In fact, even, even the patients that do well, I wouldn't say it's a cure, but it makes enormous differences in their quality of life. It did for Katie. She tried numerous therapies before, but none could improve compulsive behavior. So many different intensive therapy programs that I had tried, um, partial hospitalization programs. We were thankful to be able to find it and to be able to find Dr. Sheth and Dr. Goodman at Baylor because they and their teams, without a doubt, saved my life. She says it didn't make OCD go away, but she was finally able to successfully have it treated. If I'm able to recognize it coming up in its, its ways, you know, with the um, obsessions and compulsions and recognize it for what it is and kind of move on. Let it be there, but move on. The hope is with more research showing results like Katie's, more insurance companies would begin to cover this procedure for OCD. Reporting from downtown, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.